Okay, this is a video about making a step function supply curve. I find this a pain. But we've got some power plants. These are some power plants in Nigeria. Now, what we've done is we've ranked the power plants from lowest cost to highest cost. We've used the match function to take the ranking and uh, compare that with the cost. And we put a match comma zero so we can get an exact match. Whoops. Look at me do that. Match uh, uh, this one against the total cost. Excuse me for that. Okay. This gives us our rank. And then we put an index and we say, okay, well, the, the net capacity we have is this one F4 against the rank, okay? And then the next thing we do is we say, okay, let's take this one and then we'll accumulate all the capacity. And then we put the cost next to it. Now, we don't have to do that because when you try to make a supply curve with just the cumulative capacity and the cost, if you press alternate F1, then it gives you the capacity. This starts to look like a supply curve. But if we change the chart type and make it a scatter plot with a uh, thing like this, it, it doesn't look like a supply curve. We need a step function. So that's really what the main thing about this is. So I'm going to put this back here, and then we're going to press Control Space or delete that. Okay, so this is our lowest cost. We have this much hydro. This much is the next one's the existing IPP and the new IPP. You know, I'm going to change the fuel cost. Oh, we made the fuel cost. I'm going to make it 3.5, 3.6. So that makes now a new IPP has a has a lower cost. Okay, now. Once we put all of these uh, plants together, here's the big trick. Let's just put a counter. Okay, let's make these a little bit wider. Okay. Wider. Okay, and this is just, we'll put one. We'll put just a silly if statement. If this equals two, then we put one. Otherwise, we add one. I think we could have just... Uh, done this about eight different ways, just counting from one to two to one to two. And then we'll have our index. And this is, we need to make a step function, we need two. We need one, two. So you put a, if, let's just start with the one. If this one equals one, then we take this one plus one. Otherwise, we just take the same one. So all we're doing is putting two of each of the plants in. And it looks like I have nine plants, so I'm okay. Then we put in, now let's put in the uh, x-axis, which is the uh, cumulative capacity. Now when you, th and then we'll put the uh, uh, cost. Now when you think about this, for the very first plant, we're going to start with zero capacity. And then for the next one, we put an index. And we get our cumulative capacity, F4. And then this is the big trick. You, you go up one. So there are two values for all of these, starting with zero. So the first, the, and the first price, now for the, for the uh, price, you just take the uh, price, the F4, and you, you put this index here. OK? And then you, now, so we have two prices. So if you think about this, the x-axis goes from 0 to 384, and this has a price of 2. Then it goes from 384 to this one, and that has a price of 29. So that's how you can do it. Then you select this area and press F11. This is our extremely high peaking cost. And these are, this is the hydro, but this scale, of course, isn't right. Alt E L. I wanted to do Alt F1 on this one. And then you uh, change the chart type. 
make it a scatter plot and click on this and you have a, a step function okay and what we'll do now is match the demand with the supply so let's say our demand is uh, okay let's and how about we'll move this up I think that's okay whoops why didn't that work Come on. Okay. Now, can you move the car? We move this up. Okay. Whoops. Uh, and now, if we want to put the demand along with the supply, let's just uh, put demand over here. And let's say the demand is is. Is, is how about we'll make it uh, at first 5,000. Let's shift control 1, 5,000. And then what we do is we find what's the marginal plant. So we, we compare the demand to the cumulative capacity. Now, if you put a match here, Okay, we'll, we'll put the uh, uh, match of the plant. Just put equal, equal match, this one, against all of the uh, cumulative capacity. Okay, and then we, that says it's number three. It's one, two, three. But it's not really three. We need to be operating this plant. So we have plants at full capacity, and then we have marginal plants, and that's just simply the next one. So on our marginal cost, it's just going to be equal index. And we take the uh, uh, this ranking, which was the, the cost sort, and we just say that it's this this plant. So it's that's our marginal cost. That's how much. Now, if we if we would make this one instead of five thousand, six thousand, then oops, uh, we're still okay. And then we make it seven thousand. Then we're suddenly into the much more expensive diesel capacity. Okay. That's what we do now. If we, the next thing we can do is we can figure out well, what's the, 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 why don't we make a diagram of this? Okay, and to make a diagram of this, we can next to, door to the, the cost, we can put demand. And we just put an equal sign and we go to the demand. F4, and just double click on F4. And then all we have to do, it's not that easy, it's a pain, but we go to uh, select data and we add a, a plant, we'll call this demand, and the, this one's the tricky, the X values, that's like the, the same things we had before, and the Y values are just the same prices. And then you press OK. And what it does, I hope, is it puts a little demand, it puts a little line in there. So if we say the demand and supply, if we put, uh, I guess I'm going to move this you now over here. OK. And then I'm going to put, if I put 6,000 megawatts, then our marginal cost is here. Now the interesting thing is if I put 7,000 and then I say, okay, well, what's the, uh, let's put new IPPs of 5,000 in. Now suddenly the, the marginal cost went down to 35. Okay, so that's kind of our demand and supply. If we could put 80% availability in for everybody, 
down to here, then then our marginal cost could go down. Okay. So uh, those are the kind of things. It's kind of a fundamental supply and demand analysis, and I'm going to stop the video now.